So now let's see how we can dig into the useref and learn more about it other than just to connecting or referencing any input field from the DOM or any kind of DOM element you can say. But apart from that we know everything about useref like it has the current property which can hold anything. So why not create another useref and this is not for referencing any DOM node it's for storing something. So I can say it's my variable ref <laughs> okay and I'm going to initialize with the number of images I have so I have this images state and I can quickly get the image length or images length so just to check I can log this var ref here and then I can open the chrome no not chrome <laughs> the edge dev tool and here we can see we have this object which is having a current and current value is 5 that's cool so in that way we can actually show the number of images we have so just above this i can create a h1 tag and i can say uh, var ref dot current and we know this is a javascript expression and we need to use the curly braces to start the javascript part inside jsx so this number of dot current is field and then images five images okay so we should have yeah five images we have now what happened when we are going to remove one image so we currently have five image and if i try to remove hmm, you can see it is not updated so what we should do we should create a use effect for update so i'm going to copy this one that will going to be just for the update that means we can remove it here and what we want we want var ref dot current value to be uh, the new value which is images dot length okay let's try this one so now once again let's try to remove it hmm, nothing happened once again what if one more hmm, this time it is doing this task but the result we are getting is not correct why all these things are happening because if you remember re use ref is not adding any state and you can check from this documentation and this documentation clearly say that whenever you initialize the ref it returns an object that persists for full lifetime of the component very very important thing and also here you can see it's written uh, keep in mind that user doesn't notify when it's uh, content changed that means there will be no re-rendering and that's why we are having some incorrect information for this because whenever i change it it recalculate the previous result which is obviously incorrect so when actually use ref is useful okay so we are removing the image we are adding the image how about i want to count how many times the component is updated to count that we have this use effect which is going to run for every update here we can simply log and we can log for let's say count not counter just count and then and to open the dev tool refresh this page and yeah it's having a count for the first time and then once i remove an image it's having one more count but i need to count whenever the component updates so you can say that okay let's use the state because we can change the state and a state name is like update count once again update count initialized with zero and here we need to, we need to say set update count to the update count plus one and i can remove this from here and then i can show that update count is like here 
we have a p tag you can use any tag and it's like component is uh, is updated and update count times okay so now once again let's try this so initially you can see it is mm, we have a very very weird problem once i refresh the page you can see it is like a like a counter it's not actually counter it's running like a timer yeah timer is the correct word and i don't want this and why this is happening so let's go to the use effect and this use effect is actually for any kind of update and setting in state is actually an update so whenever we are using this use state and whenever we are setting the new value then it update the component because it update the component it's again going into this use effect once again calling the set update and this is a for this is a infinite loop and that's why we have this times updates for the react so we need to stop this and this is the place where we can use the ref the use ref how about that so once again i remove that use state we have a var ref and now instead of this thing i will say var ref dot current current is equal to var ref dot current plus one very simple so this is going to update and keep in mind here it's written that uh, keep in mind use ref doesn't notify you when content change mutating the current property doesn't cause a re-render and that we want so we just need to show here updated count will be var ref dot current now let's try this okay so first it says the component is updated for a five times okay maybe that is because of some kind of initial renderings but now let's try this click and yeah one update then once again second update third update and here we have eight images that is actually not the images because we have changed the use of use ref so we can remove this and we just have a, a simple system where we can count for the image obviously if you want to initialize this thing with the zero and you don't want any kind of uh, initial timer times like five times given here what you need to do you need to make sure this will not going to work this will not going to work on the mount part and we know how we can create a use effect just for the update 